I'm Garrett Bergman, and this is Berg in Outdoors. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another video here on Berg in Outdoors. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made our trap. I'm making this video because Shields, the last two weeks, Shields, the place where I get my minnows, has been out of minnows. And that makes me upset because I haven't been able to really go out crappie fishing because that's basically what I use to crappie fish with. So I'm going to be showing you have a cheap way to do it to get your own free minnows. And the first thing you guys are going to need for minnow trapping is, you guys are going to need a 2 liter bottle. I have, this had grape soda in it. I have an extra one right here that I'm going to uh, empty out the um, soda out of this and then use the bottle on this one and this one too. And what you're going to do is you're going to start by moving the label. This is going to act as your minnow trap here. So if you want a lot of minnow traps, you can have several of these. If you only need one, then you only need one of these. So I'm going to start by removing my label. On this one as you can see it's now basically clear and so I'm gonna start I'm gonna empty out the um, soda out of this one and put it into this jar and then I will remove the label on this one and I will catch you guys out on my workbench where I have a little bit more space and access to uh, more than just a box cutter to show you guys the rest okay guys I made it to my garage and I'm gonna go over the stuff that you need to build your minnow trap you're gonna need a bottle I'm gonna use this two liter I think that'll work the best um, you can use anything bigger than this or you can go all the way down to a water bottle. You need zip ties or duct tape and that's going to be to attach this part into the bottle here and I'll show you guys that later. You're going to need something to weigh the bottle down so to make it sink to get it down to the bottom. Something to poke a hole in the bottle for um, to help it sink. I'm going to use this nail. Some string to tie it off and you're going to need a box cutter or a knife. Now the first thing you want to do is if your bottle has any liquid in it, you want to get rid of that liquid. And then you want to take off your label if it has a label on it. The next thing you want to do is you want to take off your cap. So you want to unscrew your cap. And then when your bottle becomes like a consistent length, where it's not like, you can see like this, this bump right here. When that flat kind of flattens out, you want to start your cut. So I'm going to start mine about right here. Okay, after you've cut all the way around, uh, I didn't get too straight on mine. Try to get a little bit straighter. But this is going to go inside. You can see how that kind of fits where you want that part smooth. So that way the end of this and this kind of line up together. The next step, you can kind of see where that is. Where the minnows, they're going to swim. You're going to put some bait in here. And the minnows are going to swim in here. And then they're not going to be smart enough to get out that same hole. So I'll put some bread in here, and to bait it, I'll put bread in here, I'll show you guys that later. And then this will sit in there, and the minnows will swim in, and then they won't get out, and I'll have minnows in here. But the next step, that's way down the line. The next step is that you want to get whatever you're going to use to weigh it down. I'm using these rocks, and you want to put them in the bottom of it. And that's just going to give it a little bit of weight. So that way, when you go to throw your minnow trap in, you make sure that it sinks and it goes down to the bottom. The next step, I think this is the third, maybe it's the fourth, I lost track, is that you want to take your top and you want to line it up as flush as you can with the back of the, your lid. And then you want either, if you're using zip ties, you would punch holes in both the top and your bottom. You'd punch holes in your lid and your lid here and your bottle. And you'd line those holes up and then run your zip tie through and then clip them off. But I'm using tape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up as best as I can. And then I'm going to just tape the edges. So I'll get my tape out and I'll just tape around the edges.
Okay, so now I've kind of taped around these edges where this isn't going to completely just fall out once I uh, throw this in the water. I think that's going to be just fine and hold pretty good. If you're using zip ties, I would just zip tie uh, probably like 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, something like that. Maybe spread them out a little bit more and put more than 4 on there. But I think this will be just fine. The next step I'm going to do is I'm going to poke holes with my nail into the bottle here. So that way when you throw it into the water, it kind of sinks. You could also take your knife and poke holes in it with your knife. But I have the nail on handy and I'm just going to do it with the nail. I'm also going to heat this nail up. So if you're a little bit afraid of like fire or you don't want to heat it up and you can't heat it up, then I'd use the knife or you can just try to poke it through. But once this gets hot, it'll just easily go right through. Okay, so as you guys just saw there, I have poked an assortment of holes. Okay, I just dropped my nail that I just heated up because it was kind of burning in a little spot on my carpet here. But as you guys just saw, I, I poked an assortment of holes in the bottle. Um, no exact amount. You can kind of be sporadic with them, but I try to keep them. If you can see the line right here, I try to keep all my holes above this line. So when I go to pull this out, I still have a little bit of water in here for those fish for the minnows to actually stay in, but I'm actually going to have a bucket to put them in. But, I got all those hole, holes poked. There's no exact amount that you want. Just you don't want the holes bigger than what the minnows are, because if you have big holes, then the minnows are just going to come right out. So I'd be careful if you're using the knife. Also be careful that you're not going to cut yourself in this project. Um, wear gloves if you kind of slip a lot, or just be extremely careful. Now, the final step is that you're going to get some rope I just have some rope that my uh, grandma got me for Valentine's Day. And I'm just going to basically tie this around the middle of my bottle. And then I'm going to tape this down to my, to my bottle here and it'll sit like that. And then I'll put my bait in here and I'll show you guys while I um, throw this out. I'm also going to make two more of these but I'll make that off camera just so they go a little bit quicker and you don't have to sit through and watch me make two more of these. Alrighty guys, I made it to the creek here and I'm going to be putting my minnow trap right in here and my thoughts on when you're minnow trapping for minnow trapping in the creeks is the deepest part is the best part. So I know right here what I have access to is alongside the road and this is the deepest hole compared to the other side so I'm just going to throw my minnow trap in here. I'm going to show you guys what I'm baiting with. Okay, so here's my minnow trap and here's some white bread. You got to use white bread, do not use wheat again. I set it on the... Uh, um, how to catch bluegill to use white bread and I stay true to that do not use wheat bread they just do not like it so I'm gonna put a couple pieces inside the trap kind of break it up and then I would toss it overboard okay so I have my bread put in the uh, minnow trap as you can see right here you can see the bread in there 
and I only have access to right around the road so I'm not going to be able to get down there and throw it very far so I'm just going to try to set this down in there let's see how close I can get to kind of uh, the place that I'm aiming which is that little hole right there okay guys I just set out that minnow trap I'm going to put the other two out in a different area so I will see you guys when I get there and just like that we're at my second spot here right here at the creek this is the creek that runs into, or it's one of the creeks that run into Hillsdale Lake. So I know there's going to be minnows in here. What I looked for when I walked up was minnows and crawfish right around the bank here. I'm going to put out both my minnow traps. One will probably be like right around this area and the other one down there. This is Bull Creek. It runs right out into Hillsdale. Um, leave a comment down below if you think I should come out here and do a little bit of creek fishing. I think that would be kind of fun to see what I would catch out here. But I'm going to toss these two out. And then uh, here tomorrow or the next day, I'll come out here and check these right before I go out fishing. Okay, guys, it's the next day, and I'm down here checking the minnow trap. Let's see what I got here. So I'm just going to pull it up right here. It rained a lot last night, so I don't know if I got anything. And it looks like I got... Uh, it looks like I didn't get anything. I'm going to take this tape off, and then I'll check it for sure. Alrighty guys, it looks like I was wrong. I got one minnow from this uh, little creek right here, and now I'm going to go check my other two traps. I think I'll just let them go because it's only one of them, and I'm not really going to do much fishing with just one of these minnows. Alrighty guys, that's going to be it for this video. I know what you're thinking, what happened to those other two minnow traps, but we have had a ton of rain the last couple of days. A whole bunch of rain, and those minnow traps actually got washed away in the creek. I know I'm super disappointed in that. I really planned on using those minnow traps quite a bit every time I needed some minnows to go out fishing with, crappie fishing especially, but I'm just going to have to make a couple more. I think the water rose a lot and I had them tied off to two rocks, so maybe the water rose a lot and maybe when that water goes down I'll be able to find them. I'm hoping that I do, but I think that they washed away and they're somewhere down the creek, probably stuck in a beaver dam. Um, now, I wish I was able to find them, but I didn't, and I was hoping that I would catch more minnows, but just the rain made it really tough for those fish, for especially the minnows in those small creeks. The creeks kind of got all flooded. But if you like these types of videos, make sure you leave a like and a comment down below. Also, I am getting those car decals. They're not here yet. They said they'd take about five days to make and five days to ship, so ten total business days. So that does include Saturday and Sunday, so I should have them sometime next week. If you're interested in those, they're going to be $3 for one of them, or they're going to be 2 for 5 I wish I had one to show you. Once I have one, I will post on my Instagram and my Snapchat saying that they are in stock, and I'll leave my, um, I'll leave my email and my Instagram in the description. Just email me or DM me on Instagram, and I can arrange payment and shipping with you guys. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure you like and share the video. Comment down below if you want to see more videos like this.